with a number of different offerings. Well, the first Bruin he will face will be a tough out in Kevin Kendall. An ERA just a tick over three, and he starts things off. Fox, where they, uh, what side of the plate they hit from? Silva lifts that one out to center. It'll drop right in front of Hunter Mead. And the Bruins have first and second. And guys from Texas Tech. Well, here's Matt McClain. He just picked up his fourth hit, and that one's booted by Adams. It goes all the way to the roll. And the sprint is on. McLean will be held up at third, but he gets both runs in on the misplay by Adams. And we saw this yesterday by Easton Morrell from Texas Tech, except yesterday we saw the ball bounce over Morrell. Here, Adams just doesn't get down to the ground, and as soon as he misses it, it is a no-doubt triple for Matt McLean, and the Bruins strike first. Runner on third, nobody out. And that one is past the second baseman, Tim Simos. That'll get the third run in as McLean comes home easily. And it's three to nothing, UCLA, and still nobody out. You're right. I mean, it's kind of no we saw it last it. night. And UCLA just keeps it going. They'll have him at second and third. Throw him out. Double play a minute ago. This could have been a whole lot worse. Ground ball to Anthony Jaquin across the diamond. But UCLA will strike for three. I can speak for you on this. They make our job a lot easier the way they cover the sport. Rock Absolutely. The middle by Simos. But it does show you just how much more difficult it is to predict. You just have to wonder if some of the uncertain. Oh. That ball's touched. Ruda lifts it high into the wind, and Lubbock cuts right through it for a home run. Sam Ruda with number five, a two-run shot, and it's a one-run game. Well, how about that? Looked like Sean Mullen was kind of settling in. And all of a sudden, Samo's a bullet, and Ruta a no-doubter, and as you said, just easily cuts through the wind. That ball is way over the right field wall. And just like that, the Black Knights are right back in it. Only giving up three in his last two starts combined, but you know, just doesn't look real sharp to start this one. A lot of great games, and it's really cool to have postseason baseball back. Schwartz will get over to third after the ba base knock by Cuellar. So now first and third and nobody out here for the Bruins. West Coast offense. And there it's done to perfection. Well done by Karos. There's just not much you can do about it, right, Dave? Third baseman comes. The, the runner can come as far as the third baseman goes. And Got him on the strikeout. Inning is over. UCLA does pick up another run. It's 4-2. UCLA up 4-2 as we go to the top of the fourth inning. And Cardenas, the catcher, first pitch he sees. Base hit through the left side. R.A. of just over three. And with the walk to Kevin Kendall, let's get you to the studio and get an update. Shea Cornett, what's going on? RBI and hit into a fielder's choice so far and there's a base hit that's going to get down into the corner that'll get two more runs in and McLean will wind up at second base and he now has three RBIs today and you got to have your stars play big in postseason play and Matt McLean has certainly answered the bell now four hits and six at bats, excuse me, seven at bats in this Lubbock Regional, and that is another bullet down the third base. Can he pitch them deep into this ball game and keep it close? Well, he comes in and gets the strikeout of Karos to end the inning. Who up third this inning? That one's lifted in the air. Deep to left center. 
That one will one hop off the wall. Collision by Vaughns and Kendall in left center. The throw to third, not in time. And Friedrich with his first triple of 2021. Them in big moments. Slaps this one out to left. Kendall back just shy of the track, and that'll be an RBI. Another one for Friedrich or for Sam Ruda as Friedrich will touch home plate, and it's a 6-3 ball game. You run out of pitching. Base hit to the left side. Inning will continue. Chases one out of the zone, and the inning is over. Might be a short stay in Paul Maneri's last trip to the NCAA tournament. And in seven innings this tournament, they have scored that leadoff man. Nice play, but an errant throw. Takes Ross Friedrich off the bag. Vaughns ends up at third. <laughs> that ball's belted. That's going to drop in. Bounce off the wall, Vaughn scores. That's a double and an RBI off the bat of Kevin Kendall. Three for six, all told. You can make it four for seven for Cuellar. One run is in, two runs are in. Boy, and the Bruins just keep on rolling, Dave Neal, and this was a green light special. Cuellar been using the back of the back side of the field all game long, but he gets a fastball down and in. And how many times have we said it, Dave? Lefties love it down and in. A rock. There's a net uh, in front of us. Throw down a second. Going to try to pick one off at home, and they get him. Four games. I mean. You know, New Jersey Institute of Technology had Arkansas down for a few innings yesterday. I mean, there's some just, you know, college baseball probably. A... Jakeen out to center field. And they'll have first and second with two down. And that one misses inside, a 3-1 pitch. First pitch swing, he drops in for a base hit. One run is in, here's the throw home, they'll cut it off. A two RBI single for Tim Simos. These Black Knights just keep on coming. And one thing Jim Foster told us about this club, as you would expect from a West Point group, is that this team will not quit, don't even know how to say the word. And we are certainly seeing that here in this game as they have continued. That ball's a little blooper. That'll get a run in. It's now nine to six. Sam Ruda with his third RBI of the day. Make it his fourth RBI of the day, excuse me. Uh-oh, here come the Black Knights. Just kind of muscles this hanging breaking ball into shallow right field. Perfectly placed. Just in front of Silva out there and right, and the Black Knights just keep adding on. Right on the button, but right to John John Vaughns. And it's over. I'll tell the you the season. Preseason number one team going down. Time to get an update. Let's go back to Shea. Lays down the bunt again, it'll get the run home. Got him at first on a close play, but the run will score, and it's now 10 to 6 UCLA. And Army hits another batter, that's 86 on the season now. Current head coach, wow, another hit by pitch. Who's going to make the play? How about the center fielder, Hunter Meade? It's the game within Can the game, Berkey. 
<laughs> you can never get on the highlight reel. This might be a highlight reel. Ooh. And it is off the light pole for JT Schwartz. A solo shot, his eighth of the year. Schwartz has been a little bit quiet, but this is a big swing of the bat right here. And what you got to like about Schwartz is the ability to use the backside of the field, the strength to get it out of here to left. And this one off the light pole, light tower power from JT Schwartz. Yeah, it's just fun talking to a guy that's just so passionate about the game and slam. And we take the lead 6-2, to two and we were headed to Omaha. I'll never forget it. Base knock for Vaughn's. John John. Little chopper, and that'll be gloved by the shortstop, DeBrule, but nowhere to go. They'll try to go home with it. John John Vaughn's just does beat the tag. And two runs coming to score. It's now 13 to 6. Boy, I thought DeBrule had a chance here. Picks it up and rips it home. The ball takes two hops. And you see that Ceruto just doesn't catch it cleanly. I think if full to the brim with Red Raider fans. A little bouncer out to second. Simos makes the play. That one is out to center field. John John Vaughn's twists and turns, but puts some leather on it, and that will do it.